House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi, a, a fellow Democrat from uh, yes. your home state, Noah. hometown. Uh, she said Friday there's no question that President Trump, quote, abused his power, and she also questioned his fitness for office. Let's listen. I'm very worried about his fitness. The president's fitness for office is something that is being called into question. Do you agree with that? Do you worry about the president's fitness for office? I think um, he here's the problem. Republican or Democrat, when you serve in either the House or the Senate, you are accustomed to stability in the White House. You are accustomed to the protocols that go along with it. Um, you are very careful about what you do and what you say. All of that is out the window now. And Does so what we are feeling is that every day is a new crisis. And that is, has a destabilizing effect because we've got big issues to solve. Uh, we've got a huge opioid epidemic. We've got health care that needs to be tended to. But does it hit that level of fitness where you might say that he is unfit as Nancy Pelosi did? Well, I wouldn't say I'm not there yet, but I understand why um, the leader feels the way she does. There's an unpredictability. He projects uh, an, uh, an instability. He projects uh, a different issue every day. Um, doing policy by tweets uh, is really a shakeup for us because there's no justification presented, there's no State Department analysis, there's no nothing. And now there's a reluctance uh, to respond to questions submitted by Democrats, even the Democratic ranking member. For example, if I were to write a letter as ranking member of judiciary to the White House and ask for some questions, not controversial, they don't necessarily have yeah. to answer me. Yeah. That's never existed before, regardless of party.